Want to get creeped out, local lesbian back, and talking about things that go bump in the night. So I previously did a video on a creature called the Doolahan, and it is Irish folklore, but you may better know the name of this creature as the Headless Horseman. Anyways, I found a little story about this creature, and I'm going to make a long story short and tell you guys about it. So in the story called The Good Woman, there is an encounter between the main character and a hooded woman, and she's actually headless. Later, the main character encounters many Doolahans, and these are actually men and women, which is kind of refreshing because I have noticed in folklore, it's typically always women who become these beautiful creatures to lure in men, or sometimes it's men, but honestly, it's normally women that are always the villain. So this one's got men too, and I kind of like that. So in this story, there is a resident of White Knight's country, and he is at the foot of the Galtee Mountains. He was a peasant named Larry Dodd, love that name, and he was also the most skilled horsebreaker around. He traveled westward to buy a horse or a pony that he planned to sell later that summer evening. He stopped at a church to mend his shoe, and this is when he met a woman that he offered a ride to, a cloaked woman. Larry grabbed this woman to get a kiss from her in exchange for the ride, which is like, really, Larry? Like, you're offering her help, but she has to kiss you for it? Creepy. Creepy. Anyways, he goes to kiss her, and she has no head, so he finds out she's a Doolahan. Kind of love that for him. So Larry loses consciousness and then wakes up inside the church. Inside the church was a wheel of torture with several heads on it. Severed heads, if that wasn't clear. All around him were doulahans, headless people, men, women, commoners, nobles, people who had different occupations. Didn't matter, didn't discriminate. They offered Larry a drink, and this caused his head to be severed mid-sentence, just as he was about to compliment the flavor of it. Now, Larry actually ends up regaining his senses and his head is back, but he has lost his horse. Kind of glad he lost something because there's a great lesson here. Don't offer women help and then force them to kiss you. Don't force women to kiss you, you know? He should have lost his head, I think. Okay. Also, just on a side note, there are some rumors that the Doolahan is the embodied spirit of a Celtic god and that gold can actually keep this creature at bay. Anyways, see you next time.